this episode of Firearms Fuel and Fabrication, we'll be taking this 16 inch AR I have. This is my 16 inch mid length AR. I'm getting a little bored with it. I want to repurpose this rifle. I'm going to end up redoing this rifle as an 18 inch SPR or special purpose rifle. But we're going to take my 16 inch barrel here, we're going to cut it down, re thread it so I can use it. My SBR. Okay, we got the barrel out. You can see it's a nice medium contour barrel. 556, five, 1 and 9 twist. The debate of 1 and 9, 1 and 7, 1 and 8. Uh, obviously, I ain't going to be shooting a lot of heavy stuff out of this because I'm turning it into a short barrel rifle, anyways. <clears throat> Alright, I have a registered SBR. I run 300 blackout on it. I got a 9mm up before it that I run on it. Don't have a 5.56. I had one a while ago and it was 7 inch and it was actually too short to run my can on. So I want to go with a 12 and a half inch versus 7 inch what I had. I'm not too worried about gas port because uh, a lot of times you get on the 12 and a half inches with mid length system you gotta open up the gas port, allow more gas through because you mess with the dwell timing a little bit. But this one's got a pretty beefy gas port in it. We'll give it a shot, see how it works. Right now, I'll just mark it off for 12 and a half inches. Actually gonna go a quarter bit longer. Extra quarter of an inch to give me some room to play with for doing the crown, threading the barrel, just so I can make sure everything's good. Got my little tool here I made to center it up in the lathe. And this is gonna be the process. It takes the longest amount of time. Just getting this in here getting it centric off the board. So, when I go to set up to do that, this keeps the bag centered, bring it out. I use pieces of aluminum in my chuck to protect the barrel. I get it set up to where I start getting it centric. I'll uh, get a shot of that for you guys. Kind of show you what the process is. It's a long process, probably takes 15-20 minutes to do. I'm not going to bore you with watching the whole thing, but when I get to it, I'll show you what's going on. Okay, I'm pretty damn lousy running this camera. But uh, this is a 10,000 gauge. And I'll go a quarter turn at a time. So there I want from one to three. Two, to four. So three ten thousands. I think I can live with that. To give you an idea of how sensitive ten thousands is, okay. I'm going to. Uh, of course, it's out of focus already. I really suck at running this camera. To give you an idea, I'm going to put my hand here and just watch. That's how sensitive it is at 10,000. So, 3 10,000, that's pretty goddamn centric. I can live with that. That's how you get the bore centric. I'm going to take this off, and we're going to lop the barrel off, cut it down for threading, recrown it, then color. 
Okay, let's uh, see if I'm figuring out how to run this thing or not. I'm really, really not good at running this camera. My GoPro died, and this is uh, my new Canon, which is way more advanced than I am. Of course, I'm brand new at making these videos and everything, so. Got it all centered up, we're gonna cut the barrel off now. Uh, just using the parting blade here. I'll pull it out real quick. Nice little parting blade. But it does the trick. Official. We are down to uh, actually 12 and 3 quarter inches at this point. Okay. The 90 degree angle here. It's going to use that to face this off. Since the end of this barrel is going to live under a flash hider, I'm just going to do a 90 degree crown on it and do a slight relief cut right at the end of the rifling. Okay, now we're all set up to cut it down in diameter. We need to cut it down to half an inch. It's a three quarter an inch right now. So we got to take 250 thousandths off of the diameter. Got my carriage stop set up here so I don't crash into my head. Get her fired up. Hopefully you can see it. Good enough for me. Right now that that's all done, I gotta do a gear change. Change out my head, get my threading bit, get ready to do some threading. Okay, I'm all set up to thread. Um, slightly closer than I want to be to the headstock, so I'm going to have to watch it very, very close and be very fast on disengaging my half nut. So, I'm going to cut my speed way back. That way we're just going nice and slow. So, I don't feel like crashing my chop. about an even thread like 28 threads per inch so I'm doing half by 28 it's 
nice about that is on my wheel, I can start it at any number on that wheel and it'll cut in the same spot. And I have my X axis zeroed out on my DRO, which a DRO is a uh, digital readout. Because I'm actually doing all of my cutting with the compound, which is set at 29 and a half degrees. I make all my cuts with that. Always return the cross slide back to zero. Okay, I've got a thing for uh, dying batteries tonight, I guess. We're back on the GoPro. Um, making my final cleanup pass of 2000s right now. It died. Uh, I don't know where I lost you guys there, but I lost you at some point. So we're going to make this final cleanup pass, 2000s cut. And after that's done, uh, touch up a few things, take the sharp edges off the points, and put a slight radius right here just to smooth it out make everything thread on easier. Very nice thread right there. It's not loose, no wiggle. Threads on easy, fits nice and tight. Alright, so, cleanup preparation. Uh, we're going to kick the speed back up to oh, about 400. I like to take a nice smooth file, not too coarse. And when I do that, I'm not putting any pressure, I'm just touching it very, very, very lightly because smooth sense gouging your threads up whenever it's all finished. Looks really good. Locks up real nice. Like I said, no loose threads. happy. Now I'll pull the barrel out. I'll clean it all up. I don't want any junk in the barrel. I'm going to clean the barrel out. Spray the outside of the barrel off. Degrease everything. It's just going to take a little bit of cold, cold bluing here to the end just to cover all this up. Because uh, I'm going to put a uh, silencer co muzzle brake on it for my Omega. And that'll pretty much live on it. Well, there it is. Mid length cut down. Twelve and a half inches. <clears throat> Gonna get a different hand guard. I didn't like the hand guard that was on it. It was actually a really cheap junk hand guard. I think it's something nice to put on it. 
uh, get my muzzle brake from my can ordered. But once it's time to pull it out, uh, that'll be in another video. That's the end of this series for uh, on cutting down and threading barrels for firearms fuel and fabrication. You guys have a great day.